Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, it is a cold winter's day today. It's Sunday afternoon. It is about 4.30, 4.31 exactly my time. The sun is very low in the sky, uh, but I decided to uh, take a chance and get out and do some flying. I'm anxious because I have the original Hubson Zeno again. Flew this drone recently and had a bad battery had some issues with it. We still got a flight in, but you know, could, had to keep it pretty low to the ground. Uh, I got a new battery for it. You're still, you still can buy new batteries. And uh, this battery was, uh, gosh, I think yeah, it was about, I don't know, $30, $35, something like that. So it's pretty cool that they're still available. I can't remember, I think, I, yeah, I bought it on, uh, on Amazon is where I bought the battery. So pretty cool that they're still available for a drone that's nearly five years old, four and a half years old, whatever. Uh, at any rate, let's give this guy another chance. Let's get it up in the air because there's some pretty cool things about this old, the original Hubson Zeno. Uh, it'll do some stuff that, uh, you know, as good or, or better than some much newer drones. So uh, anyway, let's quit messing around. Let's get this bird in the air. Okay, I'm getting the drone fired up here. Okay, it just connected, so I'm going to plug in the uh, uh, OTG cable to my phone and open up my phone here and start a screen recording. Okay, so we got a screen recording going, and uh, then the, the app that we're going to use is the uh, just the X Hubson app, not the X Hubson 2 like we're used to using on. Uh, on many of the newer drones. So X Hubson app, I'm opening it up right now. And uh, it recognized the Xeno, so we are going to enter device. And it'll give us that USB cable not connected for a second. And there, look at that. We've got, uh, it's telling us 100% battery, ready to fly, 12 satellites. Uh, yeah, yeah, it gives us that device status list. So we can look at that real quick and uh, you can see uh, my uh, uh, firmware versions uh, right there if you're interested in that. It's not asking for any kind of calibration, so we're good to go. It says 12.4 volts, 100%, uh, so uh, we're clear there. Uh, as I recall, I don't think I can change. Yeah, I can. I switched to video mode. So I, I some of these Hubson drones, you can't look at any of the settings till you have the drone in the air, but in this case we can, and, and uh, I, I fly so many drones sometimes I forget. So we're in 4K, 30 frames per second, white balance on sunny day, which I think, you know, it's kind of sunny, I guess. So uh, even though the uh, sun is getting ready to go down, color on uh, ordinary, uh, grid lines, we want those on. I had those on the other day, Mess evidently it resets them. So we're good to go there. Uh, let me, uh, give me just a second here and we'll take off. I paused there for a second so I could put my other glove on. I mean, I'm telling you, it's cold. So I don't, I may not have uh, said anything earlier, but uh, it is about 32 degrees now. So it's right on at freezing. So it's definitely a cold day. So uh, we'll give this new battery a workout here. And Siri is thinking that I'm talking to her, so Figures, figure out a way to shut that down there. I think we got that shut off. Let's uh, let's go ahead and start recording. You know, I need to buy it. I'm glad it reminded me to do that. I forgot about that on this drone. So we got to hold the uh, the uh, phone next to the drone, and then the uh, what that does is it the yeah. So it says succeeded. Uh, the GPS on the drone and the GPS on your phone agree. Then, so now we should be able to start recording. And we did, so uh, let's go ahead and do an automated takeoff. Click OK. And there's that little drone. Uh, love that sound. Oh, look at that, we got the Hubson drop there. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely the Hubson drop. It's moving around just a little. That's typical of this drone. It does not have any kind of downward facing sensors. In fact, it has no sensors at all. All it has is uh, GPS and a barometer, so so it's going to move around a little bit, but we can bring it in here. I'm I'm confident enough that I can. Uh, I've flown this drone enough. I'm confident enough I can bring it into the uh, camera. 
And of course, we're looking right into the sun, so you can't even, you're really not seeing much. Uh, so let's see, I'm gonna go the other direction. I'm going to this direction, so we're not quite looking directly into the sun. Uh, let's do our, uh, let's do our droney, reverse and up now. Reverse and up. And, and you know, it's, it's, this drone tends to cross couple a little bit. I'm gonna stop right there. And man, did it drop when I let go of the throttle. Let me adjust that rule of thirds. I, with these gloves, it's kind of hard to do both at the same time. Uh, wow, there's a lot of drones, including new Hubson drones, that wish they had a horizon that flat. Why is it that, uh, that it seems like drone companies have forgotten how to, uh, how to give us a flat horizon? Okay, let's back it up a little bit more here. And I'm raising an altitude, backing it up. And we'll see if we can get it out over the school. How fast are we going here? Eight meters per second, which is uh, top speed on this guy in uh, normal mode, which it only has one mode. So uh, it, it on the it's funny, and we made fun of it at the time on the app. It always had normal mode and sport mode. Look, we're already down to 86% battery. So, but look at how much better that video is looking already uh, when we got the back to the, our back to the sun. So this is a view that I show all the time here of the uh, of the Boise front. Let's move it around a little bit. Sorry for that quick yaw. And the drone is kind of moving around a little bit on its own. Let's. Uh, Let's back it up just a little bit here and see if I can aim it around. We're kind of over the top of Discovery School, uh, which is a shot I get all the time. So in any case, let's move it around. And the one thing that I'm noticing also is uh, the FPV on this drone. It only comes back to your phone at 720. So it's not nearly the crisp uh, FPV view that you get with newer drones. But, you know, you can see what you're doing. So I am full stick forward again, coming back towards us. And we'll just fly it around here a little bit. And what I wanted to do the other day that I wasn't able to do was try some of the, uh, uh, some of the uh, 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 automated functions of this drone. And here it comes. And again, eight meters per second, which uh, I don't know, it's weird. It seems a lot faster on this drone. Uh, you know, that's... Your, a, a, a mini drone will now go twice as fast. But there's something I want to look at here. They're in the app here. Let's see, maximum speed setting. I saw that earlier. Yeah, and I've already got that set at 100%. So, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, so we're, so we're good there. Uh, okay, just double checking that to make sure I had that right. Hey, and just for the fun of it, I'm going to show you on the, uh, Action 2 camera here. I'm going to flip it into sport mode on the controller and you'll see it say sport mode on the app but I'm going to show you it makes no difference. So full stick forward and we will go no faster than 8 meters per second still and it's struggling to get up that far but uh, we used to give we gave Hubson a bad time back back in the day because whether you were in normal mode or sport mode the the speed was always the same. But uh, one of the things I want to point out on the video, and we're already down to, oh, battery drains too quickly. P please replace. This is a brand new battery. So I don't know. That's a problem with the algorithm on this app, I believe. Uh, you know, I, I remember seeing that earlier when they did this update. I, I may even try and roll back the, uh, the firmware on this drone. And again, you know, this is a brand new battery, so uh, you know we know that it's uh, that it's not defective. So this is the first charge on it. Uh, well, let's bring it back to us. And well, I, what I want to what I want to do is try and do an orbit around the uh, see if I can do an orbit around the uh, uh, the. Uh, cell phone tower here. Sorry about that, guys. Just trying to learn how to talk. Uh, 
it's cold out, I'm telling you. And and trying to fly with gloves on is not the easiest thing. So one of the things when you uh, when you fly this drone uh, or when you uh, set up an orbit on this drone, there's two ways to do it. Let's get back over the top of that. And I know it looks like I'm close to that cell phone tower. I'm not. I'm looking directly at the drone. I'm well above it. Uh, even though it looks it looks closer than it is. Let's back it up a little bit. This isn't as precise as some other drones that I fly. So, yeah, let's get it over just a little bit. Yeah, that's going to have to be about, uh, well, maybe we can go a little bit more. That's going to have to be about right. So I'm going to click on that X up in the left-hand corner, and I'm going to click Orbit Mode. And I'm going to click I got it there. And then I'm going to set the current location as point of interest. So next step. And what it's going to tell us to do is back off. Current radius 90 meters. That makes no... Oh, hang on. Let me go back. Did I... Oh, I set the transmitter. I'm sorry. Current location is what I meant to set. So, yeah, it was measuring the distance to the transmitter. So now we see the red zero at the top. I'm going to back it off. And let's go out. I don't know. That's probably, that's probably, yeah, maybe we better go a little further than that just to be on safe, on the safe side. Let's pick that camera back up. And you can see the cell phone tower now. And I'm going to execute immediately. And uh, I'm going to speed this guy up. Yeah, it's giving me that, still giving me that battery drains too quickly. But let me, uh, you can see we're doing kind of a perfect orbit around, uh, uh, well, we're doing a perfect circle. It's not exactly a perfect orbit because I was unable to get center as, as much as I'd like. And that's me picking up the camera. But that, you know, that doesn't look too bad, right? In, uh, in orbit mode. And the cool thing about this is, is you can also set it to orbit the transmitter. So if, you're, if you want it to orbit you someplace, it'll do it. Pretty darn cool. So the other thing I want to show you while I still have some battery, I'm going to get out of that. I'm going to click stop up in the top left, and I'm going to pick that camera back up. I'm going to bring it back to us, and I want to show you how this guy can track. Uh, and this is what I was talking about earlier, is there's a lot of newer drones that just can't track like this guy does. Let's bring her down. And there's a lot of snow out in the field here, so I don't know how far out I will go. Uh, see if I can get it close enough to me to, uh, to get a good, uh, good picture of me here. There we go. So I'm going to go into uh, that same, that X again, and I'm going to click following mode. And I'm going to click Active Track. And I'm going to draw a uh, square around myself. Uh, cancel return. I don't know why. Oh, 30% battery. Yeah, it may not let us do that. So let's try it again. Following mode. Active Track. Understood. Let's click Go. Okay. And start Active Track. So I'm going to walk around here. And you're going to see this drone follow me and keep me perfectly in center of frame. There are so many newer drones that can't do that. And I, I'm backing the drone up. This is almost a five-year-old drone, and Hubson had this down pat then. Okay, well, we still got juice. I'm going to do a return to home. I'm going to go return immediately because I want to see... If the drone, and I'm going to stop recording, and you're just going to see, maybe. Yeah, and so you have to stop recording to get a, oh, we got USB disconnected for some reason. Uh, anyway, let's, uh, so, yeah, and it's going up to its return to home height, which must have been quite high. Uh, I'm going to plug this uh, cable back in. See what that does for us. Yeah. Okay. There we got it back. Okay. Let's let's turn off recording, and let's see if this guy. I don't know if it uh, 
yeah, it's saying it's on 0% battery, which I know is not right. So it may not, it may not give us, it may not go into precision landing mode. Yeah, and it's not going to. But it's going to be fine. Uh, well, it's just missing the tree here. Let me uh, turn the camera around so you can see it landing. So, looks like it found it found the one patch of snow uh, right there. Uh, so, at any rate, let me. Uh, yeah, it's it's weird. It's showing zero percent battery. There's something wrong with the algorithm. That's a brand new battery. Let me get it all shut down and we'll do a quick conclusion. Okay, as the sun is quickly going down here, uh, it's kind of behind a cloud now too. The, uh, the little Hubson Zeno, I don't know, this might have been my last flight with this guy. Uh, you know, I bought that new battery and you can see we still had some battery issues. Now the only other thing that I'm thinking that I could do is, as I recall, they added that with a firmware update. I could roll it back to an older firmware version. And by the way, I saved a lot of those old firmware packages, so I still have them. And I might, I suspect I could avoid that issue that we're seeing with the battery. Again, this is a new battery. Now, of course, how do I know that it hadn't been sitting on a shelf for a long time or something? I, I obviously, I, I don't know. Uh, so anyway, whatever's fair, uh, it's truthfully, uh, well, I'd love to keep it flying. That may not just not be possible. Uh, but you saw some of the things that I wanted to show you about it. It's particularly uh, with how cool that orbit mode is, how you have a couple of options there where you can set a point of interest by flying over the top of it or you can use the controller as a point of interest. And then uh, the uh, active track works so well on this drone. And again, this is an older kind of a, uh, you know, low powered drone. Uh, the other thing that I thought was interesting is at the top speed of eight meters per second, and again, whether you're in sport mode or normal mode, it's only eight meters per second. It, uh, it that's pretty slow, but and it, it seems almost as fast to me as some of my mini drones. But it's not. My, you know, your your original uh, or your mini two will fly 16 meters per second, so which is almost twice as fast. But uh, it seems like it's faster. So I'm kind of questioning the accuracy of that in the app on this. Regardless, doesn't matter. Uh, it's a fun little drone and I've had a great time with it and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this too. Hey, I'm interrupting for this update. Hey, I ordered one of these high capacity batteries off of eBay. Uh, and so I have no idea if it'll work any better or not, but we're gonna give it a try. And uh, hopefully I can keep the old Hubson Zeno in the air and keep it from being a trophy on the shelf. Uh, this is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out, and if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, and most of all, I appreciate you taking the time to look at this video, and of course, we'll see you on the next one. I'm gonna get back inside and get warmed up. See you guys later, bye.